Well, hello and welcome to another Teleaquarium uh, from the Alaska Sea Life Center. Uh, my name is Alex, and as per every week, I am joined by Haley uh, for today's uh, Sunday Fish Sketch. So, uh, for those of you who maybe haven't been following along on this, Sunday Fish Sketch is this cool little program on Twitter. Uh, it is run by Renee Martin, and uh, we've got her Twitter up there right now, but you can check that out um, on Twitter with the hashtag Sunday Fish Sketch. And uh, basically every week on Friday, um, she puts up a new theme. Um, so this week's theme is fish uh, named after birds. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, we actually kind of struggled. We, we, we had a little time thinking. And then this morning we were like, oh my gosh, we have all these fish here. Um, <laughs> really fit this description. Um, so, what are what are you going to be drawing today, Haley? Um, I'm going to start by drawing a snipe eel, which is actually named after and the birds have a very similar shaped mouth. So it's kind of where it gets its name. Yeah, it's sort of got like a, like a long beak, a beak-like mouth. Yeah, yeah. I get it. And so the snipe, both the, the, the snipe has a, sort of a, a longer bill, I want to say, um, but then the, uh, the, the avocets really have like this really long little bill. And you can't see it yeah. well in this picture. Um, but the, the avocets, um, or uh, excuse me, the, the eel, the avocet snipe eel actually has uh, like curly lips. They're, they're very strange. Um, yeah, it's like really a interesting fish. Dr. Seuss thing. All right, and I am going to be doing my best to draw a sailfin sculpin, uh, which you can see here, sailfin sculpin. Um, this is named the sailfin sculpin because of that huge fin off its back there. You can see that. Um, but you're like, Alex, that's not a bird. Well, this is a family of fish called the sea ravens. Uh, not to be confused, I have to keep reminding myself, um, not to be confused with the sea robins. Uh, so sea ravens are uh, a family within like a sculpin type fish. So we've got, uh, I'm going to be doing the sailfin sculpin, but there's also um, a silver spot uh, sculpin and um, crested sculpins, but I really like the sailfin sculpin. We've got one here at the center, uh, but I, you know, it's kind of got uh, some charisma to it. So I think that is what I will be doing today. All right, so let's get started then with our drawing. As always, uh, a struggle sometimes. <laughs> of what to what to do here. Um, when do I want to start with my sculpin? It's, Starting is always tricky. Yeah, the starts the starts are tricky. It's um the the sailfin sculpin especially I feel like it's kind of tricky because the it's got a longer body. Um, sort of you know we've done wolf eels in the past, we've done uh, the prow fish in the past, the decorated war bonnet, those all have longer bodies. But like this one's not that way. It's not feel like um, or I think as you described the sailfin sculpin, it's not like a, a bus in its, in its shape. Right, <laughs> that's for the, the pro fish, yeah. All right, we've got uh, Alex Allen tuning in on YouTube, uh, just saying, hey, hello, Alex. We, uh, we always enjoy having you here. You usually uh, toss some good, good questions, good comments. I'm not sure how much we'll be able to help you with questions about either of our fish today. <laughs> um, Haley's got maybe another 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 surprise fish that she might do though. Um, maybe I don't think this one's gonna take me that long, just because not because it's gonna be real great or anything, but it just it doesn't have that much of a body. Yeah, no, you're just like a really skinny little little worm. Pretty much, yeah. So these are kind of a deep sea fish, so their body just kind of kind of trails off. 
He's open sculpting. I want to say he's got some little, like, eyelashes. Um, this, I love, I don't know. There, I'm, I know there's totally a name for them. I never remember what they are. But, like, Lingcod have, like, their little eyebrows. Um, Blennies, if you've ever, if you've ever had an opportunity to see Blennies, those are super cute. Um, I might be completely wrong, but I feel like they're called Siri, but I could be completely wrong. That sounds maybe right. Yeah. The, um, the Blennies, I, I just always think of, um, there was a fish, uh, I went diving in, uh, Curacao at one point and, uh, it was, you know, we were just doing like shore diving right off there. And so there were some steps down into the sea. And of course you, you come back. Uh, kind of up that that same, um, you know, uh, series of steps on your way out. And uh, every time we would come back, there was this little uh, red-lipped Blenny sitting there on the steps. As per its name, it has red lips on an otherwise kind of like black body. It was really cute. Um, but he would always just sit there and like kind of pout at us. Um, so always enjoyed that. Yeah, blennies and gobies are some really cool fish. Blennies and gobies are very cool. All right, my fish already is not looking great, so we're gonna we're gonna see. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta fix them. I gotta fix them. All right, I I I have a really tough time with fish mouths. Um, if any of you saw the the work on um. Twitter, like last week when the theme was the Alaska Sea Life Center. If any of you saw the work from our uh, lead exhibit designer, um, Ricky, he like has fish lips down. Yeah, he's um, pretty amazing. All right, I don't know. I'm going with these weird lips here, I guess. I'm gonna cut over to you. You, I feel like uh, you've got more of a, an idea. Of I'm A little bit of a head going on. I don't know how well you can see it, but it doesn't really look like a fish. But then again, I don't really think these look like fish. There we go. Oh man, yeah, yours. The the lips are goofy. You know, like just that's how the fish looks. It's got these really, really goofy lips. Yeah. Oh, Alex Allen's got a great question here. What okay. species of fish do you think is the easiest to draw? Oh. Mm. Like, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I honestly think the one you picked today. <laughs> Yeah, this one's pretty. Eels, eels are generally like, I mean, they can go very wrong, but as far as their body, you don't have to think about it a whole lot, which is yeah. nice. I would say maybe toss up what what her fish looks like. It's it's just a noodle with lips. Yeah, um, pipefish would be pretty easy too because they're basically fish, the same yeah. as the shorter. Yeah, they just kind of have that same the same sort of situation going on those pipefish. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's see. Jaw comes back. Yeah, what do you for your you uh, operculum? Which uh, the operculum is that cover of the the gills. Mm -hmm. well, also, if you uh, if you have ever seen like a snail, um, uh, or you you know if you, if you have maybe a fish tank of your own at home or something like that, um, the snails that have like the little doors, the little shell doors that close up. That's an operculum as well. Um, mm -hmm. Lots of critters have some sort of structure called an operculum. That's honestly the one I was more familiar with, I think. All right, I'm on the easy part of my fish. Uh, the Sailfin. Oh, okay. oh, that guy looks really good. He's okay. He's all right. You know, while we've got Alex watching, I'm curious uh, if if, uh, if they've been drawing any fish. 
Yeah. If not, you should draw some. You should slap them up yeah. on Twitter with the hashtag uh, Sunday Fish Sketch. Yeah, in case you haven't figured this out yet, um, Alex and I are not professional artists. Uh, I'm actually <laughs> running out of space. Um, on my, I, I started in the middle. After I was like, it's a long fish, I started in the middle. So my, my picture's already going to be kind of so-so. All good. But what I was saying is basically, whether or not you're an actual artist, you should still do this. It's still yeah, really it's, fun. It's not the point to like show off. Clearly. No. <laughs> Uh, the point's just, you know, maybe learn something new. I think that's fun. Um, it, they give you these themes, and you have to kind of do a little research if you're unfamiliar um, with that particular, you know, fish or type of fish. Um, if you've kind of not got uh, really a solid grasp on a, a candidate for drawing that week already, um, you kind of have to do like a little research. Yeah, we definitely kind of had to figure it out this week because, I mean, most of the fish I can think of with bird names are tropical fish, like yeah. parrot fish. Parrot so fish. So get one that's more temperate was a little bit more challenging. Yeah, well, and then we, this morning, we, we were like, oh, we have this fish um, where we have canary rockfish. Right. Um, so that, that was tough. All right, here we go. Alex has another question. Okay. A follow-up to what species do we think is the easiest to draw? What fish do we think is the hardest to draw now? Oh gosh. Um, trying to think of really complicated fish. Honestly, rockfish are kind of hard. Um, I think just because they're like if you're trying to draw a specific kind of rockfish versus like just a generic one, they kind of all look the same. And I find like fish with more like that have like spines or like really detailed like plating or like different kinds of fins are tricky. Yeah, I'd probably agree with you on rockfish. Um, honestly, I like I just you know I don't have a great time of drawing them to begin with for the most part, fish in general. But yeah, something about rockfish, just their their proportions are very strange. Which uh, again, if you didn't have an opportunity to check out uh, last week, you really should go go take a look um, at the drawings from Ricky because uh, he, he did some salmon, he did some rockfish. And I mean, I think Ricky just recognizes that rockfish kind of have weird proportions um, and, and sort of like does a caricature with them, which is uh, really fun. Yeah, his salmon are great too. All right. That's, those are fun questions though. It's not something like we usually think of week to week, I don't think, because we just have a theme and we're we're kind of just searching around to see what we could draw. But there are definitely fish that are easier to draw than others. Oh yeah. And I think we've done the majority of our sketches just in pencil. I think if I was considering color, that would also be pretty difficult with some fish. Um, but I've I haven't even really tough on them. Something I, I like with the um, self and sculpins is they've got the, these like bands and spots, and one of the dark bands just goes right through their eye. Um, yeah, absolutely love it. I do really have to emphasize that eye though. Then you like you gotta get to stand out still. Yeah, yeah. And then hails kind of there. Uh, oh gosh. Spinning my camera around here. <laughs> I'll cut back to me. I'll, I'll jump off you here real quick, um, so people can see what what what. Yeah, yours is coming along. <laughs> no, 
I'm not being sarcastic. No, no, I, 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 I was laughing because um, just him popped up on the screen. Um, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> he, uh, I just, I love the big fin on them. Um, it's they, they, can, they can have it down as well. It's not always up. Um, and so like the sailfin sculpins we have here, um, frequently they'll have it down. And then like if they swim over, if they're really curious about something, they'll just like pop that fin right up. Which is just fun to me. I don't know. It, it, it's, um, you know, when we were talking about the um, favorite fish we had, we had a little video uh, last week about favorite, favorite fish here at the center. A lot of people like the fish that seem kind of curious. Um, and the, mm -hmm. the sailfish dolphins definitely have sort of a curiosity to them. Definitely. All right. I think my snipe feel is about as good as it's going to get. Um, just because there's not much more I can do to it. So there we are with the snipe feel. And I may start drawing another fish here. Um, let's see. I don't know if I'll have time to finish it completely, but so there's the snipe feel. So the second fish I'm going to try to draw is a woodpecker, um, which is one of my favorite fish because they're just, they're so awkward. They're adorable. Um, <laughs> we apparently used to have them at the Sea Life Center before I got there and I'm upset I missed them, but they're definitely a cool little fish. Um, but apparently they're also called sea hens, which I didn't realize until recently. So it, it still works for this category. Yeah, the, uh, the sea hens or um, the, the lump fish, the lump suckers, as we're, we're calling them here. Um, they, we have some. This, this photo we have is from Joel Satori, um, who, again, you know, we've used a lot of his pictures. He has been here to the Sea Life Center. This one was taken in 2015, I want to say, um, when, we had, when we had a bunch of lump suckers. And uh, his, his project photo arc is really something you should check out if you haven't already. Uh, he basically yep. goes around to facilities such as aquariums, uh, zoos, rehab facilities, um, even like private collections of like weirdly uh, bred pheasants and stuff. He's got some just amazing pheasant photos. Um, but uh, he, he basically is sort of on a mission to document uh, every animal under human care. Um, and some of those animals are the only known uh, individuals of their species. Some of them are really, really uh, endangered, uh, almost to the point of extinction. Um, so checking out that uh, photo arc project from Joel Satori uh, is something I highly recommend. Yeah, his photos are really amazing, just how he does them. And I like all the the backgrounds, how they're so, they're very, all very striking images. Um, looking at a picture right now, I am starting with his mouth, which in this picture is open, which is kind of, kind of funny, but I'm working on it. It's just, it's just, it's the mouth. The mouth is just difficult on fish for me, at least. Exactly. I've also realized that I feel like the majority of the time, all of my fish I draw better if their if their head is to my left and their body is to my right, and if I flip it, I'm not as good. I have no idea why. <laughs> All right. So this one is flipped, but I'm trying it. They're just such a round fish. <laughs> Yours is looking really good with those stripes. Yeah, he's doing all right. Um, he's kind of a scaly fish, so I'm going to be able to do the, the, the shading on him. 
um, the little crosshatch shading, which always seems to help a bit. Um, and looking at the photo I've got, he's kind of got like a, a lateral line that's a little defined, but not, not crazy defined, actually. Um, so I think I'm going to do the, the shading. So for those of you who've been here before, we've talked about um, scaled fish versus uh, smooth fish, non-scaled fish, and just talking about how to apply texture to them. Um, if you take a look down in the description of this video, actually, we've got a link there to a great little blog post of sort of how to approach drawing fish, and it's got just, I don't know, I found it really helpful. Um, yeah, I do too. I was totally expecting, I don't, I don't know if, you, if this clicks with you when I say it, but um, there's like the, the online meme of um, draw the rest of the owl, where it's like how to draw an owl, and it starts with like three circles, and then step two is just a complete owl. Oh, yeah. And that's how I find a lot of drawing tutorials or drawing tips is they, they I don't know, they just, they move too fast for me between steps or something. Um, but right. the fish one really clicked for me. It really made sense with what they were saying. Yeah, that one's helpful too, because it also explains like, if I remember correctly, like why you're doing things. So it's like, oh, like this is this kind of part of the fish and like this is why you would want it to look this way and it, it's very helpful. So there's my photo and from that, I think, I think I'm, I'm pretty Pretty happy with it. I'm actually going to get some color. I wasn't going to do any color today, but I think I'm going to go find one brown color pencil. One singular brown color pencil. Yeah, it's looking really good. I love the the sail fin on it. So anyone that might be inspired to uh, draw some fish with us, you don't have to draw the fish we draw. Maybe you know another fish. Maybe you live somewhere where there are parrotfish. And I mean, it doesn't even have to be a fish near you. We just, obviously we're at the Sea Life Center here in Alaska. So we thought, you know, let's try and focus on um, critters that are here at the center. Um, but you can just pick any fish really. And there's people that, you know, maybe you've just got a fish you like. You wanna try and draw it. It doesn't have to be in the theme. The theme is really there just to kind of keep it fresh for people a lot of times, I think, kind of inspire people. And like I said, it really, it makes me go and try to learn more, which is fun for me, like to, to learn more about fish. Uh, and a lot of times like weird things about fish, right? Like, oh, this fish is named after birds. Um, yeah, like, you I mean, fish you want. Yeah, what I and you should, you should draw some fish with us. Um, and then post that, uh, that picture up, just take a picture of it or scan it, or maybe you're doing it on the computer, um, but you should draw some and then share that uh, on Twitter with the hashtag Sunday Fish Sketch. Um, and that way other people can see it. And it's, it's a great little community. Um, yeah. No one's like judging you about your drawings. No, definitely not. Yeah, people are super supportive and it's cool because then you get to post your art and see lots of other people's cool art. No, definitely not. Almost done. I mean, I'm definitely going to do some more like they have all these little dots on them so we'll definitely do some of the like patterning but there that could yeah, be that looking good. Again for now i like it they've got like their little spikes and like you said the patterning the little dots and whatnot yeah yeah i'm definitely gonna add more like i started doing the dots right around his eye but they extend like all the way back and then there's like one row of little spines that goes like right here above their eye and then there's one that's a little lower on their belly and then they have some on their kind of like 
it's not really a dorsal fin. It's just like a ridge on the top of their body. I just don't, I don't really know how to label it because the sailfin sculpin itself is not um, not named after a fish. It's just in, or not named after a uh, bird. It's in a family of bird, or a family of fish. Wow, ah, it's too much. A family <laughs> of fish is named after, um, after birds. This is, again, it's a family um, of sea, sea ravens, not sea robins, sea ravens, um, right. which hematripid, hem Tryptaridae? I'm a Tryptaridae, I think? Yeah. I think so. I think so, yeah. So yeah, sailfin, sculpin. And then you've got your lump sucker, you've got your snipe eel. Yep. Uh, I like the snipe eel too, because uh, when you get something long like that, it's easier to sort of have it, you know, curl back on itself and have some depth to it. Yeah. Yeah, the picture I found was actually like this, so it was kind of fun to draw it like all looped around itself. Yeah, I ran out of uh, space on my paper, you know, but I was able to like add a little of this, but it's just, it's short enough that you can't really have it like cover itself, and I'm, I am not good at foreshortening or anything like that, so. Yeah, that, that's tricky. That's hard. <laughs> all right, well, I think that's probably it for today then. Yeah. We'll get ours posted up online. We do share them uh, on Twitter with the hashtag Sunday Fish Sketch. You can see that hashtag uh, right on, whoop, right up on there. Uh, we've got uh, Teleaquarium is just us every day. We're doing new programs uh, on the Alaska Sea Life Center's YouTube. Um, and then Sunday Fish Sketch every Sunday. We're trying to participate in that. Uh, and it actually happens twice a week. I know you're thinking there's only one Sunday a week, Alex. Um, but during this time when Maybe you're spending more time at home um, than you otherwise would have been. Uh, Renee's actually posting up a midweek Sunday fish sketch as well, which takes place on Wednesdays. Um, I think she usually gets that posted out on Monday. I feel like it's on Monday. Yeah. So, the Monday theme gets posted. I mean, the Wednesday theme gets posted on Monday, and the Sunday theme gets posted on Friday. Yep. Yeah. Yes. And so this past Wednesday, it's actually a really fun one to go look at. It was a uh, uh, batoids, uh, cartilaginous batoids, aka rays and skates. Um, so that was pretty fun. But yeah, this has been another one with us, and uh, I don't know, we're we're having a good time with it every week. Uh, so hopefully you enjoy watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoy following along. Maybe drawing your own fish. Uh, you could even you know show me up happily. I'd love to see another sailfin sculpin. Um, but just you know draw a fish. Maybe learn something new about a fish. Uh, give it a good sketch and then toss that up on Twitter with the hashtag Sunday Fish Sketch. Um, but until next time, we will probably be seeing a little later. Uh, we again have teleaquarium programs every day. So check out our YouTube channel. We're going to be doing those for the foreseeable future. Um, and we'll always keep you up to date if something's changed with that. But then we also do the Sunday Fish Sketch every week on Sunday. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you later. <laughs>